plan B, speed shopping. I have 31 minutes. I know I was just at Hummelstown, but I've been finding some really good stuff here. So let's go in, we don't have much time. Well, so far it's been more or less the same. I've been kind of breezing through the first floor. Um, that is very pretty, $10. It's not bad at all. Is there a discount though? You know, I like an extra discount. Um, I don't see one. I'm trying to be super quick because I want to make it to all the floors. Like what? Sugar and creamer, $5? That's newer though. I can tell by the base. Um, I'm looking for stuff for my Etsy shop. I'm also looking for really good deals for whatnot. So, um, Trying to be quick though, because I have under half an hour. Ooh, I'm not sure how much resale value this is, but it's Amberina and it's only $3. It's not bad at all. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my $5 whatnot sale this Friday, or I guess last Friday. I'm not sure what day this posts. <laughs> I'm kind of mixed up right now. Hey, look, it's still here, $8. Yeah, that is pretty. I did kind of regret leaving this and a couple people asked about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. I'll just bring that straight to Etsy. And then what's going on down here? This is a really neat ashtray. That is Japan too. For $5, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Um, and then this, that is really pretty and it's only 10, which is a good deal, but still a little bit more than I'd like to spend. I'm being super cheap, I know. It's got a chip, kind of. Looks more like a manufacturing defect. It's only $4, it's kind of cool. But I'm not sure about that with the damage, even though it seems like it's uh, not its fault, it's damaged. But look at this Nippon dish. That is really pretty, $12. This is where I got that epic uh, vase that one time. Last week, I bought that one time last week. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm scared to bring this out. Oh, there we go, $12. That's not bad at all. But again, more than I'd like to spend. What is this? That is really pretty. Hmm. Germany. $5 sugar bowl. I wish it was a vase. All right, I'm making it happen. Up to the second. Ooh, what is this? Uh, is that newer though? Looks like it might be newer. I'm not so certain. It's really pretty. I don't know why, I'm really into pansies. What's this face? That's kind of neat. Japan, 825. That's more than I'd like to spend on that. <laughs> and I do like a good hobbyist cupcake jar. I've had them before, they don't sell for that much. See, this is like where the dilemma comes in. Cause if I saw something like this at a thrift store for $6 and 50 cents, I'd probably scream and jump out with it. Um, but here it's kind of like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's nice, it's a really good price, but again, it's like white. And when it's in the antique mall, it's like, it's like a different background. So it almost gives it a different value. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but that's how I feel at least. Cause sometimes I like, when I rewatch stuff, I'm like, man, I would have totally, this is kind of cool, $3.25. I just got the official warning. It's time to uh, go, so I'm gonna run upstairs. Okay, I have to be very hurry, hurry. $3, that's really sweet. She needs a little bit of cleaning, but we're gonna get her. All right, this is like kind of the booth I was hoping to get to. I'm just gonna do a quick run through. This is a really nice creamer, $5. It's all I think it's newer. Mm, been finding such great stuff over here. <sighs> I'm not seeing it. I mean, it's been like less than a week, so it's fair. But it's like also a little Millifori miniature paperweight, $2. That's a great whatnot item. A little hectic. I ended up spending $21, but that's great actually. Um, I am gonna go down the street to Bedford Street. I know, this is this is chaotic, but uh, I'm not done. I'm just like ready to go. So I'm gonna try and make the most of my day. I'm still looking for stuff for whatnot. I'm still looking for stuff for Etsy. Let's keep going.
this is it my last stop of the day i just got to carlisle i'm in bedford street antiques i've been to 10 antique malls today now this is the 10th actually i have been looking for stuff for my whatnot follow that bug um and i've also been looking for that super kitschy unique item for my etsy shop so let's go in and i am like ready to go in get it done and call it a day <laughs> what in the world <laughs> avon self pow this is hilarious <laughs> um powdery thingy okay uh definitely definitely like the look of that even though we know how we feel about avon stuff what are these vases these are kind of neat 12 dollars each what this is so epic but it looks like it's new it's in such good condition huh that's a really fair price it's got a little bit of damage but still think it's super fair Ooh, i really like this pot set that is fun i'm really into this little box that is super pretty twelve dollars more than I'd like to spend. All right, so I'm kind of going through something right now. I can't wear these boots because I am actually allergic to the type of glue that most brands use. Um, but they're pretty freaking epic. They're a size seven, which really is pretty common. I kind of want to get them, honestly, just for resale because they're so freaking neat. But. Uh, I don't know. I'd be too tempted to wear them because they're my size. So I think I am going to go ahead and leave them. What are these salt and pepper shakers? In Japan, $1. I'll take them for a dollar. Why not? Let's see what else they got over here. Tomato, five. And it's got a little paint loss. Ooh, I kind of like this. England, 22. Ginger jar missing its lid. Let's see. Uh, I bought something like that before. It didn't sell well, even though I still think it's a very cool thing. Like I said, I've been trying to buy more things that are out of my wheelhouse. That's very pretty, but it's 21. Like, it's only fun to experiment with things out of your wheelhouse if they're, uh, like, super cheap, you know? Last time I was here, I got super lucky with the salt and pepper shaker set i got the lipper man old howard ones here um, i don't think i'm gonna get that lucky again that doesn't happen that often let's see what else they got doesn't look like much today oh my gosh look at the print on this uh doll chair that is so funny i love the hippo it's my favorite time it's upstairs time I'm kind of obsessed with the glasses situation. I have been looking for like a pair of really wild vintage glasses that I can put my own prescription lenses in. Ooh, that's gonna fall apart any second. I'm leaving that like it is. I really like the peacock, but it's missing its, uh, what's its face? And I kind of like that she's got the mask on her eyes, like the masquerade, but I haven't had much luck with that style what about this cat cat planter six dollars eh, a little underwhelmed whoa but i love this five dollars well i'm definitely getting that that's really pretty what's going on in here oh my gosh please okay phew <laughs> that is probably exactly what I think it is. Is it Weller? No, I actually don't know what it is. Roseville, excuse me, $12 as is. Hmm. This is a different scarf too. It's a little strange. Ah, so many lambs. Wait, tell me they're not $5 each. They are. Well, we're gonna have to get all of them, aren't we? And look, let's see, they've got even got the tulip set, 99. I'm gonna leave that as is. I mean, for $5 each, you can't really not get all of these lambs, right? We love lamb planters. And this is really pretty, but it's 29. Let's see what else we can find. 
So far so good. It's kind of neat. I think I looked up something like this once before. I can't remember what the maker was. I feel like I saw it in North Carolina. Ashtray. That's kind of different. Ew. <laughs> it's kind of neat though. I mean, it's only $3.50. What is this? This is really cool. Brass base. How heavy is this though? It probably costs a fortune to ship. Yeah, it's very heavy. I'm gonna put this stuff back. Yeah, the ashtray's neat, but it's missing a little extra or something. I keep stopping to wonder why this is only $5. I really like that. I keep thinking it's cracked and I'm just not noticing it, but it seems fine. What is this? <laughs> Ooh, these are super pretty. $60 for six. That's a fair price for a collector. It's actually super fair for a collector now that I think about it. Oh, I'm tempted even. All right, now, what are these? $15 each. I thought it was for the pair. That's an awesome ashtray. 32 though. Do we think I can grab these? Are they going to be worth it? Lego Japan. Nope, they're super repaired. I was gonna say they're five dollars, that's why. And how much is the cat one? I've passed up on a lot of these recently, but if it's the right price, six dollars. I can still double my money on that. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, it's got a big chip on it. It's so epic. Two dollars as is. Oh, wow, for two dollars. I feel like someone can modify it, right? How much is this one? 10. Uh, this one, this one looks like it might be repaired right there. No, it's just got some schmutz. Well, oh man, this is kind of overwhelming. For $2, I'm gonna throw the one with the chip in the sale and um, I think I'm gonna have to get this one for Etsy. Oh, I really wish someone would come help me. I'm also kind of into this toothpick holder. That's only $2, so I'm gonna put that in my $5 sale this, or that passed, I guess, too. And what's happening here? $6, that's kind of fun. Whoa, that's really pretty. 29, that's totally fair. Not enough for me to get excited about, though. Whoa, wait, look at this bookend. <laughs> That's quite epic. He looks a little sick. 18 though, I can't do anything with that. I thought it said eight. This is kind of pretty. Hand painted in a pond. Ah, look at you. That's uh, one of the Josef originals. $8 is a really good price for this guy. Since it's about to be that time, I think I'm gonna pick this up and put it on my Etsy. And look, here's another one of those little rabbit planters. This one's $6 and it's in good condition. I think that's extra sweet. I kind of want to get it. And what is this? Um, looks like a wave crest. Interesting, it looks like it's missing like a top or something. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this back, even though I think it's super sweet. I don't think I could make that much off of it. Well, I'm not normally one for glass belts, but this one's pretty. It's hand painted and signed. It's only $5. I think that would clean up. Now I brought the bell along. I think I'm just gonna put that in the $5 sale to make things interesting. Uh, it's kind of fun to gamble. Ah, look at this. Is this what I think it is? Is this Rubens? Relpo? $20. Should I get it? Vintage lamb. Well, it's a bear. Um, I can't remember what the last one I sold of these was, but it was at least 30. Maybe I should look it up. I just don't think it's enough to justify spending $20 up front. What about the head vase girl? 24. Those actually don't sell that well for me. Surprisingly enough, is this a little trinket box? $10. Hmm. Which 
just my size. That's so sweet. Chalkware. Ooh, that's really heavy. I don't want to deal with that. And I already see it's chipped. And for $3, I kind of want to put that in the $5 sale too. Why not? But this one's kind of cool. Japan. This one's four bucks. I think I'm going to go ahead and get that too. I like the colors on that. And I got kind of excited about this Fiesta uh, vase, but it's cracked. That's why it's so cheap. Another thing that does surprisingly well in my shop are these hand dishes. Um, this one, it's been a while since I had this one, $6. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up too. The milk glass one, Avon, no. I would pick up the Westmoreland one, it's not Avon. What about over here before I check out $12? Okay, I can live without this. All right, just one quick last look over here. Uh, this is what I was going for. I kind of feel weird of leaving that for $20. Yeah, I can't do it, it's too close. I'm gonna move on. Look at this super convenient box they gave me. I spent $72 in there. I went to 10 antique malls today. It's been officially 12 hours since I left the house. Um, I spent $401. I got a bunch of stuff for Etsy. I got a bunch of stuff for whatnot. We're gonna get into it when I get home uh, tomorrow. Definitely not tonight. So I will see you guys, um, I'll see you guys later.